Hi, boys and girls. Well, we just read a book called Somewhere in the World Right Now, which was a book about time. And we learned that there are 24 hours in a day. Well, today you're going to look for this little packet that is called Around the Clock. And we can see a clock on the wall that's surrounded by children. At the moment, this clock has no hands on it. Hmm, what do you mean by hands? Well, a clock generally has two hands. It has the long minute hand, and it also has the short hour hand. We can see that our clock has units of time around it. The first unit of time that we can see are the minutes. So as we go around the clock, we know there are 60 minutes in one hour, counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And we know that 60 minutes makes one hour. And our clock has 12 hours on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we know that there are 24 hours in one day. So how many times does my hour hand need to go around the clock to make one day? If you said twice, you are right, because 12 plus 12 equals 24. Well, in your book today, you're going to be filling out some times. You'll need to put your name on it so that we know whose book is whose. Then our booklet says on the very first page, at eight o'clock in the morning, I wake up. So on this page, I need to draw the big hand or the minute hand and the hour hand on the clock to show eight o'clock. Well, I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to use this big clock to help you out. Whenever we hear o'clock, that means this minute hand is going to be up on the 12. That makes it o'clock. 12 o'clock, let's see, we need eight o'clock. So we're going to go around to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock. So we know that our hand needs to be pointing to the eight and our minute hand needs to be up on the 12 for o'clock. So in my book, I'm going to get something hard to write on here. I'm going to make sure my long, big minute hand is pointing to the 12 and my little hour hand is pointing to the eight. That's my analog unit of time. Now, I can also see that I need the digital time. So I'm going to put eight because that's the hour that we're in. And then I'm going to put o'clock, two zeros, o'clock. So now we know it is eight o'clock. It says, at eight o'clock in the morning, I wake up. The next page says, at nine o'clock, I go to school. Hmm, I wonder what nine o'clock is going to look like on our clock. Well, let's take a look. We know that we need to go around the clock one whole time to make 60 minutes to make one hour. So let's see what nine o'clock looks like. We're going around the clock. And now we have nine o'clock. So now I know what to draw on the clock in the book. So I need my long minute hand up to the 12 to make the O clock. And I need my small hand, my hour hand pointing to the nine. So now I have nine o'clock. 
then I need to put the digital time over in the box. Nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, I go to school. If you were coming here at nine o'clock, you'd be late. You need to be here at 8.15, just so you know. All right. Then when I turn the page, I read the sentence and it says, at 10 o'clock, we read. I think you're getting the idea of what you need to do. So the next one says, at 11 o'clock, we have math. Then our next page, at 12 o'clock, we eat lunch. This one I'm going to show you because it looks a little bit tricky. So if I have 12 o'clock, let's find out what that would be like. Here's 10 o'clock. Here is 11 o'clock. And then here is 12 o'clock. So both hands are going to be pointing up to the 12 on that page. Now we'll look like this. We've got our minute hand and we've got our hour hand pointing to exactly the same number. At 12 o'clock, we eat lunch. That's our analog time. And then our digital time, 12 o'clock. The next page says, at one o'clock, we write. Hmm. So their writing time is at one o'clock. The next page talks about, at two o'clock, we have recess. At three o'clock, I go home. That's the same as us. And it says, at four o'clock, I do my homework. Now, it's going to try and trick you. We've noticed that it's gone. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It skips 5 and goes to 6 o'clock when she gets to eat dinner. And then it skips 7 and goes to 8 o'clock to go to bed. All right, timekeepers, fill out your clock book. And when you're done, then you can illust color the illustrations if you want to. Okay, time masters, go ahead and fill out your around the clock book.